This famous blonde streamer is getting a whole bunch of racist and troll comments after announcing her pregnancy with her Asian husband's baby. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's run the clip and some of the comments. Hey guys, so don't mind me. I just woke up, but I normally don't comment on these things or I usually just ignore it. But honestly, sometimes like I'm blown away by the amount of racism and rudeness in the comments, especially now that I've become pregnant, like people saying that like DNA is ruined or like, why are you married to some Chinese guy or it's actually mind blowing. And it makes me so sad that like, that is something that people genuinely feel and comment and they think that's okay. Another thing people comment is like fatherless child and like who's the father and like I've been nothing but open about my marriage with my husband who I've been married to for almost five years like Anyways, I am so excited for my baby and my husband is so excited and we just this is something that we've always wanted and something that we've just been looking forward to and to start this new chapter as a family. And I'm so blessed and so thankful that God has blessed us with a baby boy. And I just also want to say thank you to everyone that is commenting kind and genuine and caring messages because those mean so much. And yeah, I'm not going to try to dwell on the evil mean people, but yeah i just wanted to address it because it has been super bad since getting pregnant and <sighs> anyways i just want to say thanks to the, all the kind people because you guys are really amazing and i appreciate you boom i mean pretty self-explanatory i mean there have been multiple articles written about stp peach's relationship with a korean american guy over the past like six seven years I, I don't know too much about this like twitch streamer gamer discord world but i know that it's relevant because there's a lot of internet comments stirred up about it yeah shout out to her for handling it pretty well obviously if you are a streamer you know you get all different types of comments uh some that are not very appropriate in different ways right so shout out to her for handling it uh, shout out to her Korean husband. They seem like a happy couple, but we're going to delve into it. We're going to tell you how we feel about it and what other people on the internet think about it. So please hit that like button right now. But you know what? You don't need to worry about yeah don't worry about small ass sauce because it is tasty. So just order it right now. Small sauce.com. I mean, I guess my quick thought is this sounds like pretty standard internet trolling, mm. but obviously for some people who like they're not aware, I guess, of how uneducated, angry in spells. And the only reason we use the word in spells, because I don't want to say the name and have it track, but uh, like of any type of dude, right? Mm. Like, would you say that like people, when they're doing bad themselves, they're going to reach for the most hateful, I guess, negative stereotypes about a group of person to go against them, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I will say this, you know, and I don't think every comment is racial and some of it's not even about being Asian. Some are like, oh, it should have been like a black baby. And then there's a lot of like comments in apparently Spanish. And I thought that was really interesting. So I guess she has a big Spanish speaking audience. So I guess like Spanish speakers are also getting in on it. But anyways, David, uh, what are your, I mean, overall thoughts I mean, before we get into the comment section. I would say this, man. Uh, anytime it seems like a group of people in any sort of thing that wasn't normally good at that thing is coming up, it causes a lot of cognitive dissonance in people's minds because it's violating their order of things. Mm -hmm. And not only does it violate their like order of things like in their mind of like how things should work, but it sort of indicates that they themselves or their group is starting to take a loss. Yeah, and, and I, yeah. I, I get what you're saying where it's kind of like, there's a lot of dudes out there, Asian, I mean, well, non-Asian, but even some Asian guys who had accepted the hierarchy that they were like, yeah, hell yeah, Asian guys are at the bottom, white and black guys here you know no the basically the, the, the uh, oh, an overarching it. internet trend was like the light-skinned black guy takes the white girl the white girl takes the asian guy's girl i'm saying that the that's white what guy you mean the white guy takes the asian yeah, yeah 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 i'm saying that that's how they thought that the pecking order went yes and they had accepted everybody was okay with that pecking order on the internet apparently but now that some asian guys are starting to move up then now, people, it challenges their whole way of thinking. They're just, again, I don't understand it. 
They're violating the order, <laughs> yeah. the order of things, how yeah. things must be. Yeah. Then what does it mean? I mean, I guess would you describe it? I always had this analogy, Andrew, where it's like you are like, you know, Nike makes a lot of different shoes. Nike is an American brand. Tesla is an American brand. Apple's an American brand. But they don't only make premium products. They make a variety of products. Some of their products are entry level. However, somebody else sees like a good product from like Sony or Samsung or Neo, which is a Chinese EV manufacturer like OnePlus or Oppo or something. And they can't believe that their low ranked Nike is not doing as well as like the top Li Ning shoe. Mm. Because for a while, all Li Nings were worse than all Nikes. Right. So right. they're almost like, well, there, there's no way that a Li Ning Wild 10 is the best basketball shoe of the year. I'm a Nike. All the shoes from over in Asia are trash. Well, if these girls start being attracted to Asian men and their features, then what does that mean for me? Does that mean I have less of a chance? Right. And, and let's be honest. If you're commenting on ST Peach's life at all, it means you're probably giving your attention, potentially money or coins or whatever, to her Twitch stream. You're probably not a very high-ranked product of whatever brand, brand you emanate from. David, are you saying that the guys leaving negative comments might not be the highest value men on earth. How dare you say that right. about Twitch? How, how dare I make a blanket generalization of guys who leave angry comments on the internet, right? I guess, to be fair though, so that being said, Andrew, is it true that you don't see a guy who looks like the Korean husband and ST Peach all the time in public life? Sure, I guess. I mean, they definitely look like a couple that you might see in Asia more commonly, right? But they're in, what, Canada? So shout out to them. But anyways, let's get into the comments section, David. I think there was some interesting insight from uh, Reddit. Um, some people were shocked that it just wasn't only, like, for example, white guys leaving the comments because some of the comments are in Arabic, some of the comments are in Spanish, some of the comments are et cetera, et cetera. Like, somebody was like, oh, wait, I thought only white guys who are the same race as STP Peach would leave those comments. Oh no, all types of guys want to make fun of Asian guys. That's actually the truth. Right. Like, like all types of guys have a significant number of them who, at least on the internet, maybe not in person, but on the internet, want to talk trash about Asian dudes. It's right. true. Is it, but, and, and, but let's get to the core of this, because you know one, one thing we're not doing in 2024, Andrew, is shying away from the elephant in the okay, room. Okay. It's because uh, almost all races uh, I guess they feel some sort of what, like Western, closer proximity to whiteness or the Western narrative than East Asian guys, yeah. right? Like East Asian guys or Southeast Asian guys being like quite possibly the furthest thing mm. from like uh, this Anglo idea. Yeah, right? yeah. I think Asian guys are just the most outsiders of these groups between black guys, white guys, Latino guys, and even Middle Eastern guys. Asian guys, like And East possibly Asian, even Daisy guys being yeah. in there too, right? Like- Oh, yeah, even Daisy guys, uh, it, it, like that's, South that's, Asians that's are more yeah. in that sphere too. But East Asian guys are seen as way outside. And we're, you know, the st statistics like, oh, Asian guys were always the most least desirable. Asian women are the most desirable. So everybody always kind of knew, heard this over the years because at one point it was true. But do you, but do you think they also saw it confirmed with their eyeballs? Like, let's say, for example, I'm this guy in uh, whatever Middle Eastern country. I've probably still in my life seen more Middle Eastern guys with Asian women than I've seen Asian guys with Middle Eastern women. Yeah, probably, you know. But I do think if she was with a black guy, she's going to get a lot of, like, negative comments, too. Like, right. to be honest. Like, just because knowing the internet... That's how it is. Some people were saying that the internet, Andrew, it's kind of like a road rage incident where people just say the nastiest, most hurtful, more like most cut to the base. You know, yeah. I'm anonymous. These are like the most ruthless baseline stereotypes. Yeah, yeah. And I think that even these people, even some of these people leaving these comments might watch other Asian streamers or might even know of Asian people in their life. But at least on the internet, anonymously, they want to talk trash. Right. That's the weird thing that I honestly think, like, some of these people in the comments, maybe not all, might even have an Asian friend of some type. But when it comes to this type of issue, they want to be mean. And also, it's not necessarily their Asian friend group is the guy who gets all the girls in their friend group. Right, right, But, right. Uh, but typically, I, I feel that people who leave comments on the internet, they're not popping 
bottles with models at the club oh. in whatever country they're from. Especially they're these in Romania, comments. they not popping bottles with models at the club. Um, somebody was just saying, well, why does she keep putting it out there? She knows that also it's attracting attention at the same time. Mm. That, that's a little bit more meta if you guys understand the attention economy as an influencer. It is true though, right? Like, I'm not saying their love's not real, but she is putting it out there, it's still generating more articles written and more hate, but also more love. I think overwhelming the comments on her comment section were, were positive at maybe like 10%. Well, she might have calculated that she's like, hey, I know that I'm probably going to lose some guy followers, but I'm also going to gain some from this because maybe more Asian guys are going to be tuning into my stream, but some non-Asian guys are going to leave. Right. So it might have even impacted her audience a little bit, you know? Right. Um, somebody said that uh, basically the reason why people feel that way is they feel that uh, there's these larger stereotypes where, for example, African-Americans are placed as highly creative and highly physical and that Asians are highly nerdish and robotic and have small weenies. PPs, yeah. Black guys have big weenies and that Western uh, European guys are placed as the apex like Mario, Luigi, where they're like in the middle zone. You mean they have the balance? They have the balance. And that's what makes them the most desirable, uh, I guess, given, like, at a blanket situation. You mean if, like, yeah, okay. Right, right, right. I guess somebody was bringing up that Asian guys are viewed as Toad, black guys are viewed as Bowser, and white guys are viewed as Mario. Where, Luigi, yeah, the normal centerpiece protagonist, yeah. Right, right, right. I would say that those are, would you agree that those are overarching stereotypes in the yes, globe? Yes, yes, yes. I would say so, to be honest. Um, I'll say this, man. I just think that a lot of people, it reminds me so much, Andrew, of when Japanese cars were coming up in the 80s and 90s. There used to be like, I can't believe you want to drive one of them Tokyo cans around. I tell you what, you get into a crash, that thing going to crumple like a Coke can. You know what I mean? Because at that time, it's true, like, Japanese or Asian car manufacturers, Andrew, they do have a different philosophy. Mm. They make lighter weight cars. That's yeah. how they make them fast. The American philosophy has always been cramming more engines to compensate for the heavy metal. Uh -huh. Right? They, Asians have a different design philosophy when they design things. But for some people, they want to keep the old way. Well, you know, if that thing don't got a Hemi in, in an eight-cylinder, it's terrible. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that, like... Over time, people started to see that the Japanese cars or the Japanese phones or whatever, obviously Apple has made a huge comeback for American phones, but now the Asian phones are coming back up now. But it's like, like people have to see over time what a great deal and how reliable and how quality the products are from Asia, right? But is it true that there's still some people where they're like, oh no, I would only drive like Mercedes or like BMW, even a Lexus is like no good for me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you drive a Lexus, you're like, man, this is a great car. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, the uh, the Asian imports are just getting better and higher ranked, man. That's all it is. I don't know, in every field, whether it's <coughs> phone technology, whether it's drone technology, whether it's basketball sneaker technology. The whether cars, it's, the EVs. Whether it's car EV technology, they're just getting, it's, the playing field is getting a little bit more even, but man. What do, you, what do you say to guys who are like still, I guess, there's still a portion of people out there who still discount the Asian brands though, right? They'll be like, oh, I would never get a Hyundai. I'd never get a Genesis. I would never get a Kia. I would never get even, you know, like a Toyota or a Honda versus European brands. I guess what I'm saying is, should people even think about those people who are like discounting the Asian brands? Uh, Yeah, I mean, if you're racist enough to discount a good product just because of where it comes from, then you're not looking at things mathematically or fairly anyways. You're not looking at things from a true like metric-based standpoint because you're too caught up in your emotions and your replacement theory and your ranking and your racial biases. So honestly, you're just not being like, correct in that you know you're not being precise you're not being scientific right 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 and i would say essentially apply that exact same analogy to a t to these internet yeah, i'm not saying every asian guy is equal to every other non-asian guy by the way i'm just saying that finally the good asian guys are more on a level playing field and more getting what they deserve or at least getting more optionality that is what Right. That is all we want, really, yeah. as Asian guys. And it's probably like, fair to say that STP Peach is better looking than her Korean looking husband, but it's almost like you've seen the vice versa, inverse of this thing 
for like a hundred years. Yeah. Where there was like a really good looking Asian girl for with sure. a not no, as good she's, looking white she's, guy or whatever. She's attractive, I think. I mean, dude, I'm telling you, Asian brands, Andrew, like I said, it's a one to one analogy. Vinfast, Andrew, which is a brand that a lot of people they they kind of you know, say some stuff. Okay, about, it's not considered a great brand. It's not. It's not. It's <coughs> not. But I'm telling you, the 2024 Vinfast VF7. I'm just it saying, this is still better than a lot of cars on the road. I'm not saying it's crushing its segment or whatever for 20, 25 releases or whatever. But I'm just saying, yeah, it's a good yeah, whip, man. Yeah. Look at some of the new Kias. It looks like a Cyber Truck or a Range Rover. I'm just saying, there's a lot of good stuff coming out of Asia if you keep your mind open to it. Um, but of course, like we said, some people are open to it. Like STP Peach, she went and got a Genesis. Other people, they're not open to it. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Will this continue? Is it changing? And what is another analogy that's better than the Asian products one to explain it? Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.